Good evening everyone. This is Dan from Dan's Kitchen. Um, tonight is going to be something a little different. Um, this is going to be the first video of my um, series of um, Dan's um, basics cooking um, class. So um, anyone out there um, who says that they um, burn water, well, I'm going to help out as much as I can so that you feel more confident in the kitchen. So what we're going to do is we are going to learn how to make some craft mac and cheese. Mmm. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is fill this saucepan up with some water. Okay, so what you'll need is like a, um, as I showed you before, a large, large-ish um, saucepan, something like that. Just fill up with water. Oh, you only need like about oh, three quarters of the way up. Otherwise, um, any any more, and you know, you'll risk um, like boiling over. Okay, and then we will. Put it on the stove. Okay, so we've got the um, saucepan on the stove. Okay, so what you do, you need to have the stove on high. So because we're boiling, we're going to yeah have it full bore. Yeah, my um, sorry, my stove still needs to be lit with a match, but as long as it cooks the food, we're all good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is first move the camera a bit. A piece of wood is in the way, um, and then we're gonna get some salt and salt the water not too much but not too little either yeah. yeah I remember um one of my science teachers saying that uh, um that salt actually slows down the um um process of boiling water but yeah. I still say yeah put salt in the water okay don't worry you're not gonna burn it <laughs> so now we just um, you know, leave it on full bore until um, the water starts to boil okay so this here um, is the um, um, like a gas stove that I'm that I use right um, that setting is on full bore so yeah that's what we want for when we're um, when we need to bring um, something to a boil or if we need to boil things okay so what we do is um, you know, if we want to lower the heat so watch how the flame's going a bit lower. So it's, that's a medium heat. And that's a low heat. So that's the simmer setting. If you're wondering what um, you know, simmer means. I mean, m many of you know, but there are some that get confused. But yeah, simmer is a very low setting. And that's like to, you know, so you don't like... Um, risk burning and things, burning food, right? So, put it back to full bore, like that, and yeah, that's yeah what I um, wanted to talk to you about different um, settings and how the what the flame would look like. 
Okay, so while the um, water is boiling, there are um, only like um, two more ingredients that you need to make the mac and cheese. Okay, so the first one is 40 grams of butter. Okay, or two tablespoons as it says on the box, but okay. So, um, you know, no one's going to um, judge you if you put too little or, um, you know, or, or too much butter, if, you know, if it's like a gram or two more or less. You're not going to go to jail. So, all right. What I'm going to do, get a knife and cut a bit of butter. And I've got a scale here. I'm going to use. Okay, so it says I've got 47 um, grams, but you know, it doesn't matter. If it's a bit over like that, you know, it's not, not really going to change the quality of the um, taste of the um, finished product. Or you can just Grab a like a normal like um, like tablespoon. That's pretty much the equivalent. Yeah. Or if you've got a set of measuring spoons, that's one tablespoon there. So yeah. Um, It says on the um, packet that, yeah, let's see, 40 grams. Don't know if you can see that well. Yeah, let's see, 40 grams of butter, approximately. So, yeah, like I said, if you don't get, get it exactly 40, don't worry about it, okay? You, you're doing fine. Now, what I would do, is get the chopping board out. So when I um like make the um well I make the butter melt um better is don't just drop the whole thing in um when it's time. Okay, so I usually cut it up into small little bite-sized cubes kind of so it's like um, you know white cheese kind of thing but my god please do not eat it it's not cheese all right so I like to be funny <laughs> yep and then um we also need a half a cup of milk but We'll get into that later when um, when it's time to add the milk to the saucepan. I just want to show you, yeah, how to do the um, butter, how you measure it. Either, yeah, use a scale or um, yeah, or you use the um, the guide on the um, on the box. But butter also has, like, shows you um, how much um, 50 grams would be when you cut it into kind of lengthways like that. It says 200, but then 250. I mean, don't need to be Einstein to fi figure that one out. So that's 50 grams there, 50 grams there. All right. I think the water started to boil. All right. So now the water's started um, boiling. So this is what we want, a rolling boil. That's what's called a rolling boil. So it's like boiling fiercely. Now, open the box. And then you have your pasta and the cheese sachet. Open the bag. 
Don't boil the sachet. Save it for later, put it aside and empty the contents into the saucepan. All right. So now the pasta's in the water. Give it a stir so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. You keep mixing it like that because, yeah, like, you know, we don't, we don't want it to burn or stick or anything. And it's kind of like circulates the heat. Okay, and we're going to do this for about 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes. You don't have to do this um, like, um, constantly um, with the stirring. You can just um, you know stir it um, occasionally. Okay. But um, I mean, you could stir it um, constantly, but don't don't do that. You're just gonna yeah, just gonna um, waste waste your energy. Do it every once in a while and I should be alright. Okay, so now we'll just um, we'll just leave that until the um, time is up. But you know, come back to it every minute or so. Like give it a few stirs and just um, have a feel around um, the um, around the bottom of the pan with your spoon. Could feel um, some of the pasta may stick. If that happens, just apply a tad bit pressure around it and just push it off the um, off the base. Okay. It seems we have a little guest here, Madison. How are you, beautiful angel cat? What's up? Hey? Oh, you want some pasta too? I'm sorry, it's not good for cats. But, oh, you're a beautiful cat. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> so, yeah, um... There's my cat Madison. <laughs> Come to see what's going on in the kitchen. Say bye bye to everyone, Madison. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Okay, so what I'm going to do first use some hand sanitizer. See? So I've um, Pat Madison before. Now, okay, what we do is um, try not to keep your eyes off um, your um, um, creation because, you know, oh, time's up. Because um, there's no guarantee that um, it won't um, still burn. Like, um, okay, so just stir it every now and then and make sure, you know, that's, you know, got a nice um, boil there. There's enough water to cover it. Okay, so now that's done. Get a colander or a strainer that's big enough and we are going to drain our pasta. Like okay. Just get out as much of the water as you can, otherwise it can get runny at the end. And yeah, we want a nice 
thickish, um, creamy cheese sauce at the end of it. Shake it up a bit. Like that. As if you're panning for gold. <laughs> Alright. So, once you're satisfied, pop it back into the saucepan. Return this to the okay. Now return the pass of the saucepan like that. The camera there. Okay, now we need half a cup of milk. So, yeah, using like a measuring cup like this. prefer the set of measuring cups like this and then okay, the, the, the 40 or so grams of butter add that and then we are going to add remember how I said to save the sachet we are going to add the sachet of cheese powder Wish I saw this individually. <laughs> so you didn't have to buy the whole thing. <laughs> Not complaining. Craft make a good mac and cheese. <laughs> okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a stir so we mix it all in like that. Okay, just Bang the edge of the um, saucepan with your spoon. If there's any like um, excess um, cheese powder or other sorts. Okay, then yep, the butter is starting to slowly melt. Okay, and then we what we do um, now is turn on our stove okay. now remember what I was saying about um, different um, levels of heat we are going to do like a simmer okay so um, that kind of thing okay that's what we want this is just a guide. I mean, because your stoves may be different from this one, but yeah. Okay, so we'll do that. Let's, um, and now we need to stir almost constantly. So this um, stops the, um, um, not the macaroni from burning also helps melt the butter properly so if you've um, as I said before if you've um, chopped up the butter into um, small bite-sized cubes then it's gonna make it easier for the butter to melt okay, so we need to be like um, stirring um, constantly for about oh, three four minutes So, yep, yeah, like that. I mean, it's not necessarily um, hard to make, but I just wanted to um, show you guys how, um, basically how to cook pasta, like in the saucepan. You know, if you, as I said, if you um, find that you're burning the water. So it's all um, a matter of, you know, just um, keeping an eye on your food. Just keeping an eye on the progress, making sure that, you know, it's all going to plan. And like, for, for any pasta really, like, 
just um yeah um what i do is like first bring the water to the boil before i add the pasta to the water okay so give it about uh around about 10-ish minutes if you want um yeah well, al dente it's it's an average but you know, it's not not definite but what you can do while the pasta is cooking, you know, at about 10 minutes um, time, like very carefully take one out of the out of the saucepan and um, yeah, and just have a feel um, of it, you know, on, on your um, on your teeth. See if it's um, nice and soft, but or um, to your liking, or if it's Still a bit too hard, and that you need to <coughs> continue um, to cook it in the saucepan. Okay, so see how I've, um, I'm not, um, I'm, I'm just, I'm not stopping at all. I'm just going on and on with, you know, with the stirring. This is, it's practically like no water in here now. So we need to now um, concentrate on. Yeah, making sure that it doesn't burn or stick to the um, saucepan because you can do that very easily. I mean, the butter um, will offer some um, support um, in um, preventing the um, <coughs> pasta or, um, or the, yeah, the macaroni, whatever you like to call it. Not fuss, but um, yeah, um, the that it doesn't stick to the um, um, pan. You need to um, help the um, butter through with um, constant stirring. It's not going to do all the work for you. You need to do some of the work too. Okay. Time's nearly up. Okay. Yeah, I remember the first time I made a like um, pasta, like in general. <laughs> My mum comes in and goes, "Oh, Dan, what are you making?" And I'm like, "I'm making some um, spaghetti." <laughs> and, she, and she jokingly rolls her eyes, <laughs> but it was it was real. Um, it was affectionate though. <laughs> oh, time's up, and. Turn off your stove. Voila, your mac and cheese is ready. I mean, if you um, if you want to, you know, do it like the the quick and lazy way, um, just get the easy mac. But I find actually um, using the box and cooking it over the stove. It's much more wholesome and delicious. Okay, now just serve it on a plate and just carefully spoon it in as much or as little as you want. The good thing about mac and cheese is that you can either have it as a main meal or you can have it as a side. Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. I mean, I, I have made um, like um, mac and cheese from scratch in the past, but yeah, I find this this is much yummier and, and easier. But I also find. Um, cooking from scratch to be more fun but yeah um, I'm still learning how to make it as good as this I'm still um, trying to get the consistency right but almost there almost and there you have it folks a basic meal like 
mac and cheese. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed my first um, basics class um, video and there'll be more on the way. Okay, peace out and bon appetit.